In recent years, it's become clear that the behaviour of cancer cells is regulated by other cell types within the tumour. Cancer-associated fibroblasts, or CAFs for instance, secrete chemokines that stimulate cancer cell proliferation and migration. Mingfang Ao, a postdoc in the late Donna Webb's laboratory at Vanderbilt University, explains that CAFs can also regulate the behaviour of cancer cells by remodelling the surrounding extracellular matrix. We started our research to ask the question how cancer-associated fibroblasts can contribute to the physical features of the cancer microenvironment and then affect cancer cells' invasion migration. Graduate student Begum Erdogan explains that they began by co-culturing prostate cancer cells with either normal or cancer-associated prostate fibroblasts. So when we co-cultured cancer cells with normal fibroblasts, we saw that they would just migrate randomly around the microfluidic devices that we use um, instead of uh, interacting with the fibroblasts. But when we co-cultured cancer cells with cancer-associated fibroblasts, we saw that cancer cells tend to associate with them more. They migrated towards the calves. And uh, when they reach the calf, they would migrate along the axes of calf. Intriguingly, cancer-associated prostate fibroblasts also enhance the directional migration of cancer cells derived from a completely different tissue. The researchers examined whether calves exert this effect by altering the composition and organisation of the extracellular matrix. So we found that the calf cells express uh, significantly higher fibronectin than the normal fibroblasts and found that the cancer-associated fibroblasts actually can deposit very organized fibronectin fibers, but the uh, normal fibroblasts just produce the meshwork-like um, environment. That's uh, fantastic differently to us. Cancer cells showed increased directional migration on the parallel fibronectin fibers formed by CAFs even after the fibroblasts themselves were removed. Moreover, knocking down calf cell fibronectin inhibited both the association and directional migration of co-cultured cancer cells. But how do calves organise fibronectin into these parallel fibres? We hypothesise that since calves are highly contractile cells, maybe they're exerting higher forces to fibronectin and leading to its alignment. And so uh, we did traction force microscopy and we saw that calves are exerting increased forces compared to normal fibroblasts, about 50% increase in the traction forces when they're um, attached to fibronectin. And uh, when we blocked myosin 2, which is responsible for the cellular contractility uh, using lebostatin, this resulted in complete disruption of the aligned matrix organization into a more disorganized random matrix organization. CAFs have larger, more stable adhesions, another indicator of increased contractility. Cells transmit forces to the extracellular matrix via integrin adhesion molecules, so the researchers examine the role of the major fibronectin binding integrin alpha 5 beta 1. We first looked at alpha-5 beta-1 activity using specific antibodies that recognize the active conformation of the receptor. And we found that calves have increased staining for active alpha-5 beta-1 integrin. Um, next, we blocked alpha-5 beta-1 integrin using function blocking antibodies. And so that there was a decrease in the traction forces when we blocked alpha-5 beta-1 integrin. We next looked at if we blocked alpha-5 beta-1 integrin, does this affect fibronectin organization? And we saw that alpha-5 beta-1 integrin is responsible for fibronectin matrix assembly and also matrix organization by CAP. Again, disrupting this aligned matrix organization by inhibiting either myosin-2 or alpha-5 beta-1 integrin reduced its ability to guide the directional migration of cancer cells. 
Alpha-5 beta-1 integrin is known to engage in signaling crosstalk with PDGF receptors, which are often overexpressed in cancer-associated fibroblasts where they can be activated by PDGF ligands secreted from cancer cells. The researchers found that inhibiting PDGF receptor alpha reduced calf cell contractility and alpha-5 beta-1 activity, resulting in lower traction forces and reduced matrix alignment. So cancer cells at the fibroblast produce much higher myosin activity, alpha-5 beta-1 integrin activity, and also PDGF receptor alpha function is much higher, and all this can lead to the much higher cell contractility and traction force result in, in the fibronectin alignment. The very organized alignment aligns fibronectin then provides the best directional condition for the cancer cell to invade and migrate to distant sites. To see whether this pathway might operate in vivo, the researchers examined the organization of fibronectin in prostate and pancreatic tumor samples. And when we stained them for fibronectin, we saw that in the invasive sites where the cancer cells are invading, there was aligned fibronectin fibers where cancer cells seem to be interacting with those fibers. And this can indicate that fibronectin alignment is a clinical factor that might aid cancer cell migration in vivo. But how do cancer cells move along the aligned fibronectin fibres produced by cancer-associated fibroblasts? The researchers examine the roles of alpha-5 and alpha-V integrins, both of which are expressed by prostate cancer cells and have been linked to invasion and migration. We assessed how cancer cells migrate on calf-derived matrix when we blocked these integrins. And what we found was that in both cases, they migrated with less directionality, but they actually migrated faster when we blocked alpha-5 integrin, but they migrated much slower when we blocked alpha-V integrin, indicating that cancer cells are using alpha-V integrins uh, when they're migrating on the cancer-associated fibroblast matrix. Erdogan and Al would now like to examine the crosstalk between alpha-5 beta-1 integrin and the PDGF receptor and to study how CAFs regulate cancer cell migration in vivo using intravital imaging. For now though, you can learn more about how cancer-associated fibroblasts promote directional cancer cell migration by aligning fibronectin in the paper by Erdogan and Al et al, published in the November 6, 2017 issue of the Journal of Cell Biology. The paper is dedicated to the memory of Professor Donna Webb, who passed away on May 15, 2017, while the manuscript was under review.